What's up guys, the Strong Boys 19 here, and welcome to a new album review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the latest album from California-based technical death metal titans Cattle Decapitation, entitled Terror Sight. This is the latest album in their discography of albums to be released through the infamous legendary record label of Metal Blade Records and this is the first album in four years since the release to follow up the critically acclaimed album of 2019's Death Atlas. Cattle Decapitation's music has been one of my favourites pretty much quite a lot on moving myself to blast through, in my opinion, some of the more unique and adventurous ways of listening to music in this particular style of metal. There are many other lyrical contents into political lyrics on activism, animal rights, social commentary, misogynistic lyrics as well, and the whole admiration of spreading the very relevant thought-provoking imagery still remains as one of my favourite things about listening to a band like these guys. Other bands like Napalm Death, who are one of my most favourite bands in metal of all time, are perfect for that term into the description and the purpose of point of view lyrics and also another band that is Venom Prison dealing into the tacklings of mental health struggles but Cattle Decapitation has their own craft and their appearances on making artistic expressions in one of my favourite ways possible when I listen to this newer arrangement into the history of death metal as a whole. Terracite's lyrical content focuses all into the lack of humanity and with the earth being totally shambled and destroyed and a lot of the confrontation and contact onto the cockroaches, and there's so much more detailing descriptions of lyrics as you dive into these lyrics, done by the mastermind that is Travis Ryan, the vocalist and lyricist of the band. And this album has been one of my most anticipated records of the year, and when I eventually did blast through this record, this album has accepted a lot of what I really loved to hear on Cattle Decapitation's music. The band were previously like a gore grind, death grind band, released a few EPs and split albums from the late 90s to early 2000s, but through releasing albums in the studio albums direction, Cattle's music has been mostly, in my eyes and ears, a very constant, addictive, and as a punishingly creative force into the ongoing enraging nature of what metal has to offer. The first track on this album, Terracetic Adaptation, soundscape introduction in a cinematic feel, slow fade in effects, higher guitar notes coming in to low chords to pop through, building up drums, and then the doomy feeling coming right in afterwards, and then into the blast beat galore of territory that assaults the listener. Travis's vocals were powerful from guttural low grunts and highly demonic breathy screams. The technicality remains super strong in its brutality. Various fast picking riffs, style combining drums from the patterns and rhythm approaches that repeat and then later on sweep picking soloing to then changing the rhythm into some more simplistic way of riff writing after the first half. This is all out aggression, domination from the beginning to the end. Fantastic opening track. We Eat Our Young. The menacing, insane drumming is phenomenal. That stands right out immediately. Some of the guitar riffs continued the rhythmic approach with the skillful control that was going on full on contact. The variety into the multi tracked vocals were as gut wrenching and monstrous. Super tight and well executed to strengthening the groove up 
bigger and bigger, full of power in the musicianship, amazing speed and precise ability from the whole blazing action of the band. Scourge of the Offspring. Some of the riffs on this track alone is very thrashy aesthetics to syncopate everything in its musical path and also focuses more on harmonic scales and destructive, dense playing. The pedaling onto the drumming was intense and superb. Punch and kick assaulting from its violence. Throaty vocals onto the chorus continue. Very possessed tones. I feel this is another one of the strongest cuts because it is as memorable into the punching structure to precede the band's virtuosity. And the next track alone, The Insignificance, is one of my most favourites. Classic boosting performances into something that I would think about another death metal band called Immolation, but I take that as a great form of an accomplished, confident way, because I do like Immolation a lot. I say that as a confident way as well. It's incredibly consistent in its precise, well-executing styles, descending breakdowns to heavy metal, riffing, chugging, the band slows down, which is as slick and grossly vivid. It's another plus that has a brilliant layering section of guitars to make separate melodies and soloing while the chaos was erupting everything in its path. It's also dynamic into the ranges, earth-shattering structure remains just as impending. The last sections on hearing the clean vocals bring in atmosphere and it matches this climactic direction that worked as perfectly. The storm upstairs bludgeoning sounds onto guttural breakdown madness once again, non-stop darkness, howling higher guitar notes to then growling in some more absolutely catchy verse sections, dexterity performances, driving powerful bass lines and attached guitars in the band's advanced quality of their talent. The instrumentation onto this track grabs a separate difference to slow the speed down, adding a mid-tempo speed to more chemistry as the band progresses the song over time. It is as apocalyptic from the chords and the great presence within the whole band's crunching tones. The vocals were one of the other highlights as the band were in full action. And the world will go on without you. Dizzying, frantic, fearsome musicianship. And the band was super engaged, insane picking, and repetitive, yet as fun, tonality. This is a song which, once again, is becoming as admiring and digging into something as faster and as destructive. There are more repeats of the same formula into the way of the writing, but still delivers in multiple ideas. I appreciate them to hear the sound into what was being heard previously, but this was making a separate texture in a dynamic melody, vocally, and as well with the guitar work. The screams were beautifully projected from the mix, and the growls were just as efficient. One of the absolute best tracks is the next track, A Photic Doom. It's awesome, huge, and as brooding, phenomenal sound. This is one of those other insane, chaotic songs, which, throughout the thrilling and stellar intensifying results, it's as vicious and grunty, adding some more into venomous, deep territory in twin guitars and blasting heaviness. This is, at some points as well, a bit of like a metalcore-ish type of feeling when I was really focusing on this song, but the band were in contact to make their signature sound as what they do best, and some more spoken words to close the track, which sounded neat too. Dead End Residence. 
This overpowering experiment and focus on time signatures is very, very noticeable here. It's explosive and shattering throughout the composition and full of melancholic arrangements. And you can hear more of that as the album progresses, which is also one of the other best things about Cattle's music. They were always as unapologetic and there were times where they can be as filthy and sludgy. And this is another one of these sounds that has been placed into this particular track. Solastalgia. The main proportion of this music is as direct and filling in elements on more melody, but greatly achieves the ongoing, unstoppable tension. Never ending, and it's always nice to hear the contrast between the cleaner chords that have been played and hearing distorting bass later on. That is also a perfect touch. This is a doomy vibe as well, like I've mentioned about the introduction of the opening track. It's full of confidence and yet with horrific, terrifying agony. Then the last track on the album, Just Another Body, may be one of the most very rare occasions on hearing something as long of a track. And this opens on piano ambience, soundscape packed reverbs, beginning this minor, uncomfortable emotion as we hear the strings. It's a setting in like an aftermath, while the whole sound was as rhythmic, pedaling on through the beats to more basic chords, and then returning the blazing, fast brutality right from the start to the end. The diversity of this progressive element was ferocious, and it's an experience to behold. It is as interesting into the top quality, and this is one of those tracks which did not surprisingly sound as really bloated or dragged on for 10 plus minutes. It was a definite surprise to hear Cattle Decapitation make something as a worthwhile work of a compromise. This is one of my other favourable moments of this track alone, and I do love this one. The more I was diving into this whole over-the-top and as much of a really beloved point in the band's music. Terracide is still as a brutally horrific and as a dense and obnoxious monstrous record, but this album is to me one of the best albums the band had achieved very successfully. The production is always second to none when I listen to this band top-notch blend and mixing from the bass to the guitars and the ascending virtuoso drumming and the vocals. The band have been going through a lot throughout the tensions and lineup changes and they have massively made, to me, one of my newer, most favourite albums of the year so far. Overall, Terracite by Cattle Decapitation is going to be one of these albums that will be a no surprise record for all of you fans out there. And let me know what you think of this record in the comments down below. I'm going to give Terracite by Cattle Decapitation a very positive and as approachable rating of a 9 out of 10. The more I would be playing this album, there's the addiction that I will be getting over time and much love and respect to the band themselves for achieving another as amazing and demonic record in the band's career. Thank you guys for watching and I'll keep you guys posted for more videos in the near future.